Okay, what's up YouTube? This is uh, Mr. The Sexy with a Sony Vegas Basics tutorial. And this is for real beginners who have never used the program before. So if you some of the stuff seems really new, don't complain. Uh, pretty much, first thing you need to know is how to um, create a new create um, a new project. So you press File, New, or Control N. Now, for all these settings here. Okay, for template, you want to use NTS DV 720 x 480 with 30, which, which is pretty much 29.970 frames per second, pretty much 30 frames, because that is true HD. You can also you can go down to um, your HD 1080 or 25 frames per second if you like, but for uploading to YouTube, 720 and 30 and 30 frames per second is the optimal setting for not having too much upload space. Um, okay, now, so what do we have here? We have the trimmer right there where my mouse is. Now, moving that down the bottom, we have your timeline, your preview screen, your master volume control, and your project media. So, first thing you want to do is you want to import media and say, I want this song, this video clip and uh, that would be over there. Holding down control, click each of them, then click open. As you can see, we have all that stuff in the project media here. Now, say you don't like the size of these windows, simply click here and drag. Drag that down will make your screen bigger. Dragging that across will enlarge the size of the screen. Alright, first, say you have a video clip and you've got you got all this mucking around here. You have all that mucking around, and you only want you only want 360 later on. So pretty much what you do is you right click, delete that, delete that, and delete the two channels. Right click and open it in the trimmer. So this is your video trimmer. Now how to trim a video? A drag. You can either play it, or you can drag this to the point. So, so here's the start of the 360, right, right, right there after that shot. So you do that. You want to mouse over here until you get that symbol there. Not that symbol. You click that symbol, it'll move that, and you have to start all over again. Get that symbol up there. Drag over there. Now, if this bit here, if it won't drag out, drag it as far as you can, then bring it back. And move it, move it again, say we want... Oh, 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 yeah, there. We want to stop there. Then you drag this across, and let it sit there. Now, click the Create Subclip button. Now, we want to go 360 Cut 1. Now, Subclip is now located over here in your project media. You can now drag this onto the timeline, and look, there it is. Okay, next thing we'll discuss is your timeline, your channels. Okay, so you first load up your project, you've imported your media, you have no timeline travel channels. Every time you drag a video, you get a new channel. If the video is audio, you get a new channel. Okay, this is your pan for your, we'll start with audio, it's a bit easier. Your pan. Say this is your shooting, you want your shooting to be played through the left earphone or the left side of the speaker. Simply drag your pan 100% left or 40% left, whatever you want. I, I generally just leave it in center. Your button. Okay. Say this sound is overpowering my song. So we want to, we want to maybe, you can either increase the volume of the song or decrease the volume of this. So you might see that at negative five decibels. Alright, next, viewing in the field. Unlike Adobe or anything, th this program has no RAM preview features. You can preview at any time. Uh, a lot of questions I get is my preview is freezing. It's pretty much, you don't have enough RAM if your preview keeps freezing. So the only way to preview without it freezing is just to simply render it. Okay, so the first button we have down here is the play from start button. You just play the first item on the timeline at zero seconds. This is play, 
pause, stop, go to end, go to start, and loop playback. And that's record. We won't worry about that one today. Okay, so say we have one clip there, and we have another clip here, and we have just stuff all over the place. So now say we only want to play back, say this part of the timeline. We can either drag our little green things like we used in the trimmer, or, or if we don't want to do that, we simply we click there and we hit play. And we keep clicking there, you keep playing back from that location. And say we want to um we want to we want to we want the playback to start from here now. Pause it and play. Alright. Um say you want to play through a part part of the time I slowly to say adjust your syncing. Drag and click up here, right? And you slowly drag your mouse, it'll drag it slowly. She's something you have to get the knack of doing. Okay. Okay, we've, we've done our video, we've got our whole project. Alright, so trimming the audio track down. Simply drag. If you don't use an audio trimming program, simply drag. And say, then we've got our audio trim, we want to fade it. Click on the fade offset there and drag it to where we want it to start fading from. Um, okay. So that's pretty much the basics for today, just how to uh, get your video on the timeline. The last thing I'm going to go through today is rendering. File render as is the first way you can render. Hit render as. So you want to save it in renders. We're going to call it YouTube.com. Yes, that's my channel. Subscribe. YouTube test. Save as type. Okay, this can be confusing. If you are a Mac, save it as a dot mod. If not. AVI or WMV is what I would recommend. Uh, generally, I render an AVI and we want, okay, see this box here, HD 1080 24p? Click on there, change it to, and where is it gone? Alright, we might use WMV then today. So, WMV 720p. 720p, 30p. I don't have my 720 setting because I'm using Sony Vegas 9. If you have number 10, you can render AVI 720p. Alright, so all will be put all there. High quality HD video. Playback from a local hard drive. Okay. Okay. Now we hit save. You need this little box here. It's going to render it. But I'm not going to do that today because it would take too long. Okay. In um, if you're using Sony Vegas 10 instead of 9, which I also have, but I prefer 9. Hit File, Make Movie, and then hit Upload to YouTube. If you're on YouTube, otherwise just render it like I did then. That's number 10. That's number 9. All right. Last thing I might show you is applying an effect to a video. So, okay, so you see here's anything you can do to a video is along here. So, we have these two videos next to each other, and we want to, um, we want to, uh, we want to color correct the second one. So, find color curves. There it is, color curves. And we want to okay, choose the um, the one you want to correct to. All right, uh, this looks this looks okay. You apply that to the first one. Okay, now click out of there and click on the timeline in somewhere inside that first clip. Now these are real time changes. So as I drag this, you will actually see the video change. Now just change each channel to. Do you get it how you want it? Red, green, and blue. You are standard RGB color lines. So say you look at that picture and go, alright, too much of the yellow, you green, you grab your green, 
and drag it down. Alright, it'd be too much blue. <sighs> drag your blue up. Well, we'll just get it, get it how you, get it how you want it. Just simply click the X. Alright, now if you've applied an applied effect to a clip and you do not want to click on the effect button here, Event FX, and simply click the Remove Selected Plugin. Or if you want to chain in another plugin, click that. So you want Gaussian Blur. Nope, it's not going to let us do that. Um, some effects cannot go with each other, so you got to click one you want. Uh, click that, let's use that. Alright, so you can click your second effect from there. And then it'll simply plug in next to that one. Alright. Last thing we want to do is a transition. Alright, so zoom in on your timeline to the two clips you want to transition. Okay, now dragging the clip across will put in an automatic transition of just fading. Now, see that little those little numbers there right where I'm mounting over now, that 120, that means your transition is a 1 minute 20 seconds long. So you say we want our transition to be a second long, we drop it there, we go, we find our dissolve, subtractive dissolve, drag it on there. Alright, close it, play it back, and we have an additive dissolve transition. Obviously it's only just a in-program playback, so it's going to be rough. Well, thank you guys, that's the part 1 of 10 of Sony Vegas Basics Tutorials, and I'll see you next time.